A Power BI table has an automatic scroll bar, but an Excel table doesn't. However, you can achieve a similar effect with the combination of formulas and a scroll bar in the developer tab. So today, I'll use index match and XLOOKUP functions to create this scrollable table and chart. This can be useful in Excel dashboards or to impress your boss and clients, okay? Before we dive in, please click the like button. It will increase the visibility of this video. Thanks for your support. Please subscribe if you haven't and don't forget to click the like button. Thank you. These are the top 25 countries in the world by population. I want to create a table that contains all the data but only displays 10 countries per time. And to do that, I need to insert a scroll bar. But first, I'll copy the headers here. Now, go to the Developer tab. If you don't have the Developer tab, you can activate it in Excel Options. Insert. Under Form Controls, select Scroll Bar. Now, hold your mouse and draw. I'll fit it into this column. Now, right-click and select Format Control. The current value is zero. I'm yet to link it to any cells, so that's okay. The minimum value should be one and maximum should be 25. The incremental change is fine, so it moves one row per time. Page change is fine as well because I want the table to display only 10 rows. Cell link can be any cell. I'll link it here, D1. Click OK. Now. Click outside the bar. Now scroll using the arrows or using the scroll handle and a number between 1 and 25 will appear in the linked cell. Okay, just like that. The next step is to look up the values from the table. I'll start with the index and match functions. If you want to know more about these functions, the link is in the description box below. Index. Array is the range containing the value you want returned. I'll start with rank. Select A4 to A28. The next argument is the row number and that's where the match function comes in. Match will return the row number. Match the number in D1. Press F4 to lock the cell reference so it doesn't change when the formula is copied. Lookup array is A4 to A28. The number in D1 should match the numbers in column A, so press F4 to lock the reference. Zero for an exact match. Close the bracket for match, close for index, and enter. I like the rules. Ctrl R to copy across and Ctrl D to copy down. I like the rules with the error flags and click ignore error. Format the values. Now let's see how it works. F2 for edit mode. When you click on each argument, it gets highlighted in the formula. I'll click row and the entire match function gets highlighted. Press the F9 button and you see the result, one. So in this case, match will always return one. So index will return the value in the first row as it moves to the next row. That becomes row one until the 25th row. Same logic applies to the other columns. Let's see if the scroll bar works. Cool. Now, when you scroll down to the 25th row, the formula returns zero past the 25th row. To prevent that from happening, you need to adjust the control. So if it displays only 10 row per time, the maximum number should be 16. So right click on the scroll bar. You can hold control if necessary to click on the bar. Format control and set the maximum number to 16. Okay. Let's see if it works now. Cool, it works. Now let's see how XLOOKUP works. Type XLOOKUP. Lookup value is D1. F4 to make that an absolute reference. Lookup array is rank make that an absolute reference as well return array is rank leave that as a relative reference so it changes 
when we move to other columns. The other arguments are not needed, so close the bracket and enter. Ctrl R to copy across and Ctrl D to copy down. Click ignore error. Format the values. So press F2 for edit mode to see how the cells are referenced. If you want to know more about XLOOKUP, you can check out my tutorials on XLOOKUP in the description box below. Now to make this data visually appealing, I'll fill the headers and text with different colors. And I'll also convert it into an Excel table. Ctrl T. I have a custom design here. Click to select. Give it a title. Top 25 countries by population. I'll change the size and font color as well. Now I like that and center across selection. I like the rows with the error flags and click ignore error. Now the table looks good. Next up is the chart. I'll make this full screen. Control Shift F1. I like country and population. Press Alt F1 to insert a column chart. Expand and place it at the bottom of the table. You can press Alt to snap to grid. Now delete grid lines and title. Click on the bar and press Ctrl 1 to open the format pane. Under fill, check this box, vary colors by point. Under series options, reduce the gap width to 60. Click on the vertical axis. Now under axis options in the format pane, set the display units to millions. Close the format pane. Now under chart elements, add data labels. Uh, let me uncheck the grid lines on this worksheet to make it neater. Snap the chart to grid as well. Now this is looking good. I'll extend the scroll bar. I use Alt to snap to grid. Go to table design and uncheck filter. I'll group this to hide the columns. Let's see if it works now. Cool. It's really looking good. Are you going to try this when next you are creating a dashboard? <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Please subscribe if you haven't and don't forget to click the like button. Thank you.